Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Radars are one of the most important component of a fighter jet which has evolved from time from PSA to Gallium Arch Knight based AESA to Gallium Nitride based AEC radar. India's premier research institute DRDO is working on developing various versions of Uttam AEC radars which will power the future fighter jets of India which includes Tejas Mark 1A, LCA Mark 2, AMC and TEDBF. The Uttam fire control AESA radar which is being developed for Indian Air Force is going to have many versions. The first version is going to be a gallium arsenide based AESA radar which is being developed for LCA Tejas Mark 1A. The next version is going to be a scaled up version of a gallium arsenide based Uttam and with more densely packed TR modules which will be developed for Su-30 MKI. The gallium nitride based radars will be integrated with upcoming fighter jets of Indian Air Force which are LCA Mark II, AMCA and TEDBF. The Uttam AAC radar to be integrated with LCA Mark IA will feature 912 TR modules. It is going to be a full solid state gallium arsenide based AAC radar. LRD has showcased this version of Uttam AEC radar with 912 TR modules during the Defense Expo 2022. Uttam AEC radar will have 18 modes in air-to-air, air-to-ground, air-to-sea roles. The radar has been able to track LCA Mark 1 from a range of 140 km which is quite significant as LCA is smallest fighter jet in its category and has good stealth characteristics due to the usage of composite. The AAC radar has 95% indigenous component with only one imported subsystem. It has capacity to track 50 targets in sky at range in excess of 100 km and engage 4 of them simultaneously. The indigenous Uttam ASA has been fully flight tested in all modes. The radar has already been integrated with two Tejas Mark I fighter as well as Hawker 800 executive jet for flight testing. The National Flight Testing Center, which is manned by Indian Air Force, has already green lighted the radar after successful performance test. On 26 August 2022, DRDO has formally completed the transfer of technology for the production of Uttam A radar to HAL. HAL has also signed contract with Israel for ELM2052 AESA radar to be integrated with LCA Mark 1A. Elta will be supplying 24 ELM2052 fire control radar in fully assembled configuration with 8 additional which will come in a kit and will be locally assembled at HL facility in Bengaluru. What we have learned based on our discussion during Aero India 2023 is that HL will commence the integration of Uttam AS radar in LCA Mark 1A once it has completed the integration of Israeli ELM2052 which has been bought under the contract. Now if you look at the February 2023 report from New Indian Express, DRDO has planned to configure all fighter aircraft of Indian Air Force and Indian Navy with indigenously designed and developed Uttam AC radar in next two years. The light combat aircraft LCTS Mark 1A will be the first set of fighters to get the Uttam AC radar in next six months to one year. Post LCA Mark 1A, the advanced fighter jets such as Su-30 MKI and MiG-29 will be integrated with the new radar system. The process of integration of Uttam on these platforms will commence after 2025 or maybe in the beginning of 2025. As per our discussion with DRD officials from Aero India, Su-30 MKI will be integrated with a Gallium Ars Night based Uttam AC radar featuring approximately 1600 TR modules. From LCA Mark II onwards, the Indian fighters, which will include AMC and TEDBF as well, will be integrated with the advanced technology that is Gallium Ars Night based AEC radar. LC Mark II will feature nearly 912 TR modules of Gallium Ars Night based radar. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.